Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm laughing because I actually only have about half an hour to do my makeup today. But I wanted to do it on camera anyway because I thought I had a fun idea. So I recently tried the uh, Warms My Blood palette from er Unearthly Cosmetics. And despite it being very beautiful, I did think that the mattes run very dark. This is what it looks like. I did already do a couple of looks with this. But today I wanted to combine it with the Holy Fairy Tale palette from uh, Kimchi Chic Beauty. So this is what this one looks like. So we're going to do a quick 15 minute look while combining these two palettes and it's going to be a pastel vampire theme. So that's what we're doing today. Subscribe if you like the video and now let's get started. So I'm going to start with some eyeshadow primer. This is the Prima Lock Eyeshadow Base by Makeup Revolution. No matter how little time I have, I pretty much always use an eyeshadow base. So I was thinking of doing something a little bit more peachy with both of these palettes. So I'm first going into this shade over here with a casual fluffy brush. And I'm also putting this through the lower lash line. I'm really trying to make this look pretty easy. So now I'm skipping over to the Vampire palette. And I'm going to go into Marius, which is this one. With just the same brush. Only I'm going to try to keep it a little bit more precise in that outer corner. I feel like um, orange and red or peach and red will make a nice combination. See, that works out pretty good. I do think that this red makes the vampire aspect of it come to life. I'm cleaning up this brush on my hand and I'm just real quick going back with that first shade. And now I'm going to take this bright yellow, which is a shimmer, and I'm going to put this in my inner corner. And with my finger, I'm going to take a pretty shimmer out of the other palette. And I think the one I'm going to go for is this one over here. It's called Jesse, and it is a multi-chrome, I believe, or at least a duochrome. I see some peach and some green in there. I'm going to put this all over the lid. I'm trying to keep the red red. And then for a little vampire pop on the lower lash line, we're going into Immortality, which is the metallic red, which I'm really curious about. I'm taking a little shader brush and I'm going to run this all through the lower lash line. And that's everything I'm going to do for the eyeshadow. I do really like this look. I'm going to take a nude eyeliner for my lower waterline. A really pale yellow would have been really pretty, but I don't have it on me. This will do. How we're doing on time? Still have about 15 minutes left. I think I can make this work. <laughs> Putting a black eyeliner pencil in my top waterline. And you'll see that I'm putting a lot of attention into the eyes. This is what I usually do whenever I have little time. I do a pretty full eye look. Well, I, sh I do have to have at least 20 minutes for that. But I do a full eye look and then I just do very little on my face. A little bit of mascara. This is just a waterproof lash like a boss from Essence. And then before I clean up my under eyes, I'm going to take this brow powder or brow duo from Wet n Wild. I'm going to take the brow powder because this tends to have a little bit of fallout. And just like with the other video the other day, this is looking a little bit crazy with the brows like this, <laughs> but you know, it'll be all right. I still have a good 10 minutes left. And of course, usually 
this would go a little bit quicker and I would get it done in my train ride from 15 minutes which is usually the time when I do my quick makeup looks. Now I, I'm a little bit crazy, but I do usually make time for some lashes. <laughs> so for today, I'm using the Strawberry Shortcake Lashes from Glamlight. They're a little bit longer and a little bit fuller, but I love them. <laughs> I just feel like lashes complete the look. I, I'd rather wear lashes than foundation. Okay, so I think I need to let my lash glue dry a little bit longer. I'm being too rushed. So now I still have about five minutes left, so this was a bad idea. And you know, sometimes this does go wrong. So I'm quickly going to take my Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer and apply some underneath my eyes, on my nose. I don't think I've ever had this much trouble applying these stupid lashes. <laughs> well, it doesn't really prove my point, but um, I think I can still make it. I'm just taking the brow gel from the brow duo. Which makes my whole face look a lot better. I am a little bit angry at the lashes though. They really don't want to stick. Says, okay, so it was a really bad idea to actually try to do this while filming and stuff. I'm going to give it one more chance. Put some glue over there. Let it leave for a little bit. While I do two last things. And this is what I do. It's now five past four. I have to leave at about 13 past four, but I have to pack my bag. <laughs> so... I am actually in quite the time crunch right now. So what I do in that case is I take one product for my full cheek. In this case, it's the Hydra Bright Cream Blush from Makeup Revolution. And this product, it will double at least as a blush and a highlight for me. And then I usually just skip the, the bronzer. See, now my whole cheek looks a little bit more alive. And then I'm taking a one and done lip product. In this case, it's the Wet n Wild Rose Comforting Lip Balm in the shade Soft and Juicy, which is a really nice metallic shade. And I just leave it at that and it's seven past. <laughs> so I think I can still make it. Let me see if this works. Thank God, I think they stuck. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, I've been filming for exactly 30 minutes now. Of course, it's going to be a little bit less in the editing process, but this is my full look when I have about 15 minutes usually. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna leave you right here. I'm going to catch my bus and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. <laughs>